Hi, I'm Georgie, and this is The Scoop on Grooming Your Dog at Home, part two, bathing. In part one, we went over how to properly brush your dog with expert groomer Megan Lopez of Lux Grooming here in LA. Today, Megan's gonna show us how to bathe our dogs at home properly. Spoiler alert, conditioner is necessary. If you haven't checked out part one, definitely look at that because you're gonna need to know how to brush your dog in order to bathe your dog. All right, let's bathe some doggies. All right, we're, we're, we're down to the bath stuff. So should I brush my dog before giving them a bath? Definitely, you should always thoroughly brush your dog before a bath because um, when you get them wet, like I was saying before, all that water is going to do is make that tangle tighten up like a sailor's knot. Um, and it's gonna make those tangles worse and harder to get out after the bath. So you always wanna brush before and after they're dry. Um, and make sure when you are brushing, you wanna get like underneath the ears, under the, in their chest area, and especially around their rear end here where they sit because these are very very problematic areas that you'll notice when you're brushing, um, washing, and blow drying. They'll, you'll see the tangles next to the skin in those areas. Can I wash my dog in my own bathtub? Of course. Um, so if you wash your dog in your own bathtub, um, I always set up my tub with like one of those shower heads that has the hose on it you can take off. But if you do, you can just use like a large cup or tubware or something to wet them down. Um, and some great tools that you can buy or if you have laying around houses, you can get like an old yoga mat. This is a grooming mat, but it's basically like yoga mat material and you can put that down at the bottom of your tub so that way they don't slip, they don't fall, you don't get any injuries. That's awesome. And my yoga mat sitting in the corner being like, yes, I'll finally be used. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about the best tools to have for the bath. You always want a shampoo and condition. Um, conditioning is always important because after you strip those oils away, it's always important to replace them to avoid skin infections, tangles, um, and a myriad of other things. So you always want to condition afterwards. And then when it comes to shampooing and conditioning, is it sort of like all one way? Is it just like get in there? First, I, I always shampoo the face just because um, if they do have those IDs or pumpkin, who only has eight teeth in her mouth, gets this amazing blue beard. <laughs> so um, shampoo their face up so it gets a chance to sit and really let that the shampoo do its work so I don't have to work too hard. And then um, I shampoo underneath their belly where they're laying down the most, they collect the most dirt, and then you're gonna shampoo their feet and their legs where they're picking up all that stuff from outside, and then the body um, and their rear end. Just be, And you're gonna wanna let it sit for three to five minutes. Most of the bottles don't say that, but I always recommend to do that because otherwise you're just putting shampoo on and only washing off the top of the dirt. If you let it sit for three to five minutes, It'll get all that dirt off of their skin, they're all the way down to the beautiful hair. I feel like I'm also learning about my own grooming that I need to be better at right now. <laughs> <laughs> same for the conditioner, you know, you put it on the same way, only I don't put conditioner on the face, I only put it up to about the ears. Why is that? Um, just because conditioner isn't, doesn't tend to be a tearless formula. So mm -hmm. I never put it past the ears, just oh. so when you're thing, it doesn't accidentally Yeah. Happen. I guess we're now at drying. Uh, best ways to dry my dog at home when we don't have those awesome machines, drying machines. Right, so um, with the towel, what you want to do with the longer hair dog, with the shorter dog, go for it. Let, let him take care of himself, just just. <laughs> but with a longer hair dog, um, what you want to do is you want to take the towel and you just want to use like a scrunching method. You don't want to rub them this way because you're creating tangles in that wet coat. So you want to use more of like a scrunching method all over to um, to dry the hair, and then if you if it'll let you, you can always use your blow dryer on a low or cool setting, and if not, let them air dry and just make sure you brush them after they air dry. Got it for sure. Well, thank you so much, Megan, and thank you, Pumpkin. I've never seen a better demonstrator. You should get a job with QVC immediately. Thank you so much. And we will definitely be in touch because I know I'm going to mess up at least half of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> if we have any questions, I'm here. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs>
Thank you so much again to Megan for helping us out. Don't forget to check her out on Instagram at Lux Grooming LA. Be sure to tag a fellow pet parent who you think needs these tips in the comments below. Be sure to submit your home grooming videos to thepetcollective.com. You can also buy this cool hat there as well as other merch for yourself and your pets. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Georgie and I'll see you guys next time on The Scoop. Bye! <laughs>